Center, a new transit center, and a revamped epicenter. Mm -hmm. The locations all come together in a new plan for a district that would create Jamie an entertainment hub of Charlotte. A lot going on uptown and tonight. City leaders say the big changes along Brevard and Trade Streets would attract people throughout the year instead of just on game days and concert nights. WBTV's Lowell Rose talked to those city leaders about the planned district and what it could look like for you. Well, the people I talked to with the city tell me this will be a public private partnership with the Spectrum Center being a centerpiece of this entire district. Will people getting in through a newly built transit center and keeping people there with a revamped epicenter that has a family friendly focus? The transformation of Uptown near the Spectrum Center is imminent. This project has grown from being just a transit center to being an exciting new hub. 365 day uh, place where all types of people can enjoy it. The district as it's referred to in the city documents would encompass about a dozen city blocks along Brevard and Trade Street, creating an entertainment corridor in the heart of Charlotte. Any kind of driver to bring back more activity in the uptown area, I think would be good. Currently, people see this area as a void, mainly parking lots and the transit center. People living in Charlotte tell me they want to see something similar to the Epicenter, Center, but better. I would like to see something similar, but probably without the clubs, because I think the clubs were part of the reason why, you know, some of the other stores closed. So the idea is that we create a, an activity space there uh, restaurants, shops, a uh, pedestrian area, people can walk, and so it will be a destination. The new transit center tower, Hornets training facility, redeveloped epicenter in the district would create a public-private partnership that is not dependent on each other. If an area becomes solely dependent upon one function, just a whole bunch of office, right, it's going to be vulnerable to, to different types of things. But balanced neighborhoods that has office, entertainment, residential is really important. I think this will be an exciting development in that area. Charlotte needs more of these attractions for visitors, more exciting places to go and things to do. Councilman Drake's tell me if things go as planned, we could see shovels in the ground in about a year, starting with the new transit center. Now the district and buildings would seek corporate naming rights, which could bring in upwards of $60 million for the city over 10 years, reporting in Uptown. Lowell Rose, WBTV, on your side. Lowell, thank you. I'm